finally, the last um, part of this training is uh, the resources tab. The resources section provides information on how others can use the data and the tools of open contracting portal. And the all API endpoints, um, which is the first link. This is a link to all API endpoints. Um, if other systems are interested in using the data from open contracting portal, they could access it through the API endpoints. Data is collected in the open contracting portal using McQueen's own terminology and processes and is then converted to the open contracting data standard for use uh, and others to be able to easily understand and use the data. Next is the McQueenie specific endpoints. The McQueenie specific endpoints allows users to access the data in McQueenie's original terminology and the full data set through these API endpoints. There's open contracting data standard endpoints. OCDS endpoints allows users to access uh, the data that has been converted to OCDS through these API endpoints. OCDS version 1.1 if users would like to find out more about the OCDS version, documentation has been linked here. Open Contracting Portal source code. The McQueenie County Open Contracting Portal is open source and other could decide to fork and use the code for other projects. We have linked to the source code here. The license describes the open license that the data is published through. The data is published through the MIT license, which allows for open reuse as long as the same copyright and permissions are granted. And finally, the, public, uh, the publication policy provides detailed information about the data being published, how it is being published and mapped to the open contracting data standard. And um, yes, that concludes our training on public portal. I do hope that you have found it useful.